Treasure Jaguar's journey is both a movie and a book that tells the story of a Dominican nun, her struggles, and being a survivor. Let's take a look at a clip. I got a second chance at life by coming here. Not having the best of childhoods, uh, I needed healing, and that was the place I went. It's in harmony, it's in balance, it's connected, it's peaceful. You know, I came in right at the right time when she was able to recognize sort of the devastation of her life. And I knew that the Achuar and their relationship with plant medicine, particularly ayahuasca, would be very helpful for her. So I extended an invitation to her to follow me into the jungle, and she accepted my invitation. We're about to experience ecstasy. It, it's, this is home. Who knew that this was home and not Des Moines, Iowa? Who knew? Now, Sister Judy and Sandra Morris that you just saw there in that clip, both are here to tell us how you can see the entire movie at the Arizona International Film Festival taking place right here in Tucson. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, first off, and Sister, I know uh, you are Sister Jaguar. Yes. How did you get that name? I was in the jungle, and I heard this squish, squish, and I looked at the guide and I said, what, what is that? And he says, look over there 20 feet, and here's this black jaguar in the water, pounced on a bird and took the bird away for lunch. And uh, I'm the only person from the north ever in 17 years to ever see a jaguar in, in the rainforest. And so, Hermana Otarango, Sister Jaguar. Oh my gosh, what, what an experience it was, for, first. Uh, it was pretty powerful, and I didn't know it at the time, but it meant that there was going to be great change and transformation ahead, so, and that, that was true. Well, and I know, let's kind of step back a little bit in how you ended up uh, making this trip. So, Sister, in the movie, we kind of see that maybe you were a little unhappy, maybe a little, a little frustrated. Bit. A little tiny bit. A little bit uh, <laughs> with kind of what was going on in your life. Kind of build up to exactly what was going on and why this trip even came about. I had uh, a child abuse, uh, physical abuse, verbal abuse, all my childhood. Then I entered the convent thinking, well, I'm going to be with the good sisters and everything's going to be perfect and found out in the 1960s that the convent was a little abusive too. And I just took my anger and built on it, and more anger, more anger. Spent 50 years teaching, more anger, more anger, until I was 68 years old, decided, well, maybe I need a little help. Went to see my friend Sandra Morris, and she said, I think I've got just the vacation spot for you in Ecuador's Amazon rainforest. When I went there, my life changed entirely. Sandra, how is it that you came that this was the place uh, for Sister to go? Well, I knew that the kind of trauma that she had experienced and was re-experiencing in the course of her life needed something more than just talk therapy. So I have a relationship with the Achuar, and I knew that their um, understanding of what's possible for human beings to heal at very deep levels, one might say even at the level of their soul, um, they have medicines there that help with that, and I thought it would be a good experience for her to try some of their medicines to see if it could help heal her trauma. And, Sister, you refer to the Artois as a, a dream culture, is, is what you kind of refer to yes. it as. How did that help, or how did that impact you? They have a different reality that, than we have, and they kind of live in the dream. I, I, I see it more as a mystical state or a, a contemplative uh, a holy, holy mentality, and uh, and I certainly wasn't feeling any of that when I went there. I was in chaos, and um, I just thought, well, how uh, they have so little, but they have so much. Yeah. I mean, what is it they have that I don't have? And with the help of Sandra, uh, it became evident that they have a, a heart context of how they deal with the world. And, and they're not in their heads trying to, 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 to win the rat race. Well, and I know while you're there, you may feel a certain weight. We all don't have friends like Sandra that can maybe take us on this amazing journey. How was it kind of coming back, I guess we'll call it reality, and how have you used that to tell others to maybe make an impact without having to take this amazing trip? Well, if you can take a, a trip into nature with, a, with an honest friend, I suggest it. I don't, even if it's in your backyard. Yeah. But um, 
when I came back, that's the thing. Well, now, now that you found peace through the ayahuasca and the, and, and the plant medicine, now you come home and you break your leg and it doesn't heal and you're crippled for the rest of your life. And so now deal, deal with that one on top of losing your job and your home and your money and your ego. Deal with all of that. And so, so I think that the, the ayahuasca uh, put me in a place of uh, peace that was unshakable. And, and I think it takes work. It's like everything else. It's a practice that you have to work at. Uh, if it could be uh, jogging, you have to, 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 to work at it. And I think that to meditate, to pray, to um, get out of your old story and get into a, a new way of, of, of thinking from your heart instead of your head is, is work. It's work. I think this is amazing that you're bringing this back and sharing your journey with everybody. And Sandra, that's what I'm going to be telling everybody that they can see this movie at yeah. the film festival. Yes, it'd be great. Wonderful. We'd like everyone to come and see and understand that there's more possible for us in our healing and our understanding of who we are and who we are in relationship to each other. Our ability to be influenced by other cultures and other cosmologies, worldviews. It's an important time for us, I think, to stretch out a little bit and to understand what other people might know about what it means to be human. I think that is amazing. Again, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank thank you, you for sharing. And thank you for being such a great friend. Uh, we all yes. wish we would have a, a friend like you. Can I thank you? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you can watch the film on April 24th at 1 p.m. at the screening room. For more details, log on to sisterjaguarsjourney.com. Now stay with us the morning, Glenn. We'll be right back.